This is Kawasaki's Versys X300. A lovely little road bike. It's not a trail bike, might be a soft core adventure bike, but it's certainly not a dirt bike. And I'm going to give you a bunch of reasons why. So I'll start with the foot pegs. They're rubber. They got metal on the bottom, of course, but they're rubber on the top, and you can't remove that. So they're going to get very slippery if you get very muddy. ABS, quite effective, works very well, cannot be switched off. Not something you want to do uh, if you're going to get serious about going off road. The bodywork, all this bodywork, fairly exposed uh, if you start tipping it over. The engine is straight out of the Ninja 300 sports bike, and it's a great engine. But again, it's not really what you want in a dirt bike where you want more bottom end grunt. The gearing is set up to do 100 and, you know, close to 100 miles an hour, 160 kilometers an hour. Um, and, and it's very comfortable on freeways at, at that 110 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour on the highways, which again is great as a road bike, but it's not really what you'd expect out of a dirt bike. The suspension on the other hand, they've actually done a very good job of making that work pretty well on gravel roads and, and dirt roads. Another reason it's not an adventure bike, there's no decent bash plate, there's no radiator guard. Uh, so if you're looking for something to take off road, this is probably not where you want to be. But if you're looking for a road bike where you can go on dirt roads, where you can take it down a fire trail, where you can take it into some snotty area just to, to, to see the view and to explore the terrain, where you want to get out there cover big miles in Australia but you want to do it on a small motorcycle, well this could be the perfect bike for that.